All right, guys. I just came from down there. I ended the video down there and walked up this massive hill. All right, I came up this little crest. There's a like steps built into this, into that, and I walked up through there. And I noticed there's brake air bending down, and the trees shaved right there as when they're coming up through there. All right, when I got up here. It brought me into this big, massive rock face back there. And uh, there's a waterfall in it over here. This big tree right here, it don't even belong there. There's one back end behind it, the two prong one. It, don't, it belongs there, it snapped and pushed over back there. And then this barricade here, so that's all blocked off and barricaded up back there. It took me right up to Look like home base. Up here they can see everything out there it's coming for a long ways. So I'm gonna go back here and see what's going on. One good thing about the winter time, you ain't gotta worry about the spiders and walking into them damn webs. That's all X'd out. Good up. That's definitely the property marker this tree's leaning here this is a couple thousand pound tree it don't belong there's a that's a good sign There's like layer after layer with barricades. You gotta go around and go over. They don't want you back up in that water spot. It's all barricaded up in there. I'll get in there. Here's some more logs running. Smaller trees, they're running, connecting, and then rock cracking up there. Another big foot sign. Let's see how these running trees running on the ground, guys. They're all connected in and just running. can't go up there because it's all private property so once they get it up there to the top they're pretty much protected up there a lot of times humans don't even go up there because it's private property and the owners don't even check out their own property so it's perfect for them explains why they're here because they're protected by the land which I guess is a good thing. Your engine running off in the distance. Kind of weird for being out in the forest. I 
don't know what they was building here. Some kind of contraption. It's all the way up along that side, the whole way up. Structured up, the whole way up this whole side here, up to the top. There's a lot of soft dirt here, trying to look for tracks. And kind of sign that way. That's another thing, guys, I wanna, this winter I wanna focus on, are they still here? Are they? hibernating or did they migrate because I've seen them in, in the winter time I've definitely seen them there'd be a foot of snow outside I followed footprints for two miles into that rock with I found Bigfoot land by following them foot, footprints a couple years ago so I know they they do stay around for the winter but maybe some do migrate I don't know Do they go underground and just lay there like black bears and stick for that three months? Or move when they have to? I don't know, that's why I want to focus on this this winter, try and find out, check out a few caves that ain't sealed up already because they're doing that all, the whole way across the United States, sealing up everything. You're not going underground no more. Unless you know a secret. <sighs> Sorry guys, nose is running. It's freezing out here today. But this, if I keep following it, it'll take me into the Na Ohio Powell National State Forest, which anybody can go on. It's like borderline and private property and national forest, so you don't know Really, what's what? Something's up in that bush in the sunlight. I can't see it, guys. I see movement up there. Come on, focus. I need a better camera. Thank you. I saw a movement up there, guys. And that hole there. I know they're definitely up in this area with all the signs, leans, arches, brakes, X's. I mean, they're definitely here. It's not really an area I want to spend a lot of time on, but they definitely are here. rock clacking a little bit ago up there. It could be all along that side there. I see a structure up on that end over that way. I'd like to come out maybe one more time and me and Ferret get up in them rocks and search them rocks pretty good. Go around it and up top of that crest and check that out. keep saying I'm gonna do it and I don't never get nothing done guys I just gotta quit telling you guys I'm gonna do it and just do it I ain't my rants over but I've been so I've been feeling lately guys it's been it's been a burn burner trying to get my kids out here to come with me and down with life on life terms on it's just been wild but guys, I'm still here. Something hissed over there. Literally hissed. 
everything that hisses should be in hibernation. I'm gonna start moving out of here. Give me a bad feeling. Out of this area, anyways. Working my way back down. But yeah, I followed the leans and the structures up. It took me up to this rock face. As soon as I got up here, I heard rock clacks up on top in that corner over there. And there's structures and X's all the way through here. So that's part of the sign that they're up there. So maybe we will come back up and check it out a little bit more better. Track it in a little bit more better without getting caught. That's the hard part. But yeah, this is almost steps coming down here on this bank. Like over at the Bigfoot land. What? Town's like three or four miles that way and I'm hearing echoes of engines coming through the coming through there. Coming through the mountains is echoing through. I'm hearing every sound, airplane. Bet it drives the animals up here crazy just listening to all that noise. And over on the other side of the river, there's a train track. So they hear that train coming in and going all day, all night. No wonder they don't like humans. They got to deal with a lot when it comes to humans. <laughs> Even though they're out here, they got to hear all that noise. Then you got people like me coming out here, messing with them, poking my nose where it don't belong. Trying to get them on film. That's not going to make them happy either. Yeah. I guess you just gotta know your limits, guys. You know when to back out, you know when to leave them alone. That's been pulled off the ground and placed across there, weaved in between all them trees. I got her stepping on leaves. Walking footsteps on the leaves. Along with that lean there, back behind there, it's pretty cool. I think I just took a wrong turn and got lost. I do that, I didn't even go that far in. Maybe a mile up the hill, if that. Hearing stuff. Talking too much. That's my problem. I need to listen to my surroundings. But yeah, guys, we got to get ready to do this overnight challenge. These two overnight challenges. And I ask you guys kindly to wait. <laughs> But it's cool, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go ahead and spend the night at the maze and then spend the night in the cave. I'm just trying to get it to where it's above 32 degrees and above freezing at least up in the 40s before I get up, go out there and try to spend the night. If it stays in like at least 40, 45 through the night, then I'll be good. One more night at 45. All right, but if not, oh well. We just gotta dress for the occasion, I guess. I gotta get some more lights together for that mission. This tree is arched, leaning, curled up, up into the. It's like. 
There's a lot going on in there to stop us. Right by that structure, they got the deer piss here. That's got me wondering what are they doing? What are they trying to attract, really? Look at that. It's one big barricade fenced up. And that all uh, one big weave, like a, it's weaved like a blanket. And it's coming down to the river where they come to hunt the fish. I'm hearing footsteps back in behind me in the leaves. I'm definitely not feel. I don't feel like I'm alone at all. There's a massive, massive tree break up there, up top there. About 20, 30 feet up, off the tree, up, all right, high up in the tree. I heard that. Out here, guys, you never know what you're going to find. I, I, every time I come out, I show you guys that. There's always something different that I come across that I see. That you just really never know what you're going to find until you go. You never know until you go. That's the main, main thing. And that's what keeps me going, keeps me coming out here. You just never know until you go. I've just been in my head a lot lately, guys, as you can tell. Been not, I ain't just been, ain't been myself lately. But I'm getting it together, trying to get it right. And thank you guys for sticking with me through this the good times and the hard times. And through the bullshit footage. These guys still stick with me and that means a lot to me. But... These videos are going to get better. I'm going to invest in better cameras as time goes on. and I'm only going to get better from here on out, guys. Only can only get better from here on out. I'm hearing leaves back there, walking through leaves. Like it's following me paralleled out like they always do. I mean, I'm not saying it is, but I just got that really bad gut feeling and I'm hearing leaves walking back there. I don't know if you guys see anything. I know, I know something back there. Whether there's a deer, whatever, it's something back here. Bears should be hibernating by now, for the most part. We had a couple of a couple of days it's been single digits. So them bears should be. Oh, that scared me. A, a squirrel just jumped from that tree over to this tree over here and ran down and into that hole. Big gray squirrel. That's pretty cool. It scared me, but it was pretty cool. It's weird to see them out, out of their hole. It's this cold. But I guess they're moving. They're still up in the tree. They don't never touch the ground. Once this winter hits, that must be his winter home. Go deep down in where it's warm, burrow in. We got a bunch of nuts stored for the winter. I think that's pretty much what Bigfoot does. I found like sticks like that stuck into the ground and right in front of it there'd be a hole dug out packed in would be acorns and different nuts mixed in there and then covered over. So a lot of times guys when you see these sticks like that stuck into the ground look around and leave them sticks leave them there because that's the Bigfoot survival to eat through the winter. 
they leave them nuts piled up in there and they eat, come back and forest through the winter. I've seen too many of those to know it's just definitely they definitely forage them through the winter, the nuts, like the squirrels do. I've seen a lot of those. And I've seen trees, the bark stripped off of trees, hanging dry up in the leaves. They come back and eat certain tree bark. These little things that I am learning with them. The more time I spend out here, you do learn a lot about them. You just don't learn enough. It's enough to take care of that hunger and wanting to know more and more about them. They just won't let you know enough. And that fascinates me in itself alone. If they could just let you know enough that you know that they're there, but that's it. Nothing else. I'm gonna work my way back out. Right here is the sheepskin trail that goes for miles. You can travel it to Maryland, out through the Appalachian. That way take you to Washington, D.C. I mean, you can just travel these mountains on a bicycle from across the state to state to state. You can just keep on going. And what people don't understand, the rules, I was reading the rules coming in here. You're not even allowed back here on these bike trails at nighttime. You're not allowed to camp here. There's only one camp spot between here and Connecticut, and that's in Ohio Powell. For obvious reasons, they don't want you camping out here at all, whatsoever. There's only one area that you can be camping out here. And you got a mountain on this side of you. And on that side is the river and then the train tracks. And you got another mountain. And there's only two ways that you can go, that way or that way. You can't go into the water and you ain't going to climb that mountain to get away. So this is like a perfect ambush spot for anything. Any, any predator animal right here is like perfect perfect for any any predator I see they got a trail going down that way over there is the waterfall they got a trail going down that way and the trail walking out around and a log going down to the bottom of the waterfall where I'm headed to You see they got this setting up on here. This tree don't belong here. Oh, it's over there. All the way over there, this tree broke off. Mysteriously got over here, 10 feet, 15 feet away from the base, and it stripped down and ran downhill. With them at the, a V right there at the base of it. This is their house, without a doubt. But this is a tribe that I don't know nothing about. I seen a shadow behind me across down there. And <laughs> it was probably my shadow, but I don't know. I think it That's beautiful. The mountain laurel right there. You got all that mountain laurel, then the waterfall. That is beautiful. Me and Fred are going to check that hole out later on at another date. It looks like they got a lot of, I don't know if that's run off debris. I doubt it, but there's a lot of logs laying, cross crossing down there, blocking that hole down there. So me and Fred are definitely going to check inside that mountain. See where it goes. It probably just runs out to the river out over there, I'm thinking. That might be a good way for them to go down and through, get down to the river. Or they'll just cross over the trail over that way. But I'm going to work my way down without falling, breaking my neck, guys. Bear with me here. Straight down shot here. I got some slippery tennis shoes on today.
This time I'm not going to go back around under it. I'm going to go out across the front of it. So that's what we did. We was here last time you guys seen it was nighttime. Well, we did another video. We had a Bigfoot up top there, standing there, looking while Fred was down here getting a drink in the waterfall. He was standing up there, and all of us was over there, and none of us, none of us seen it up there. We really wasn't paying attention up there. We was looking down here at the waterfall. But when I went home, I caught him up. I seen it on film that he was up there looking down at Fred. That's some good footage. No one really knows about that footage. I didn't really say much about it because it's not the clearest footage, but you can definitely see something standing up there. That water's loud. Uh, I got my shoes wet. It's freezing. It's 34, 35 degrees right now. And I just got my foot soaking wet. No, I didn't. Ah. All right, guys. I'm going to have to keep it moving out of here. I got to head out. I just got my foot soaking wet. But I want to film some of this coming out. So I've seen a lot of markers from Bigfoot crossing over here going down into the river down there but what people fail to understand off right five miles five minutes off of that trail they got so much Bigfoot activity and they ride through here like a car in the world because people just don't know they just, their lives are in danger coming through here. Not so much in the daytime. Nighttime is a whole new, it's a different battlefield out here. All right, up on top of that rock face. You'll see that X up there, right at the top. It's almost like a cross up there. Nothing on this. Oh, yeah, there is. That tree got twisted in it. That tree is completely twisted all the way up. It's twisted. And now that I'm looking at it, you can see their marks going up to that twisted tree. Little things like that, guys, you really got to pay attention to. That's not normal. Uh, I smell him. I smell something bad, but out here in the cold, you probably smell anything. walk over here to the river and show you guys where they come down off of that mountain I got that mountain up there where there's nowhere to run straight up pretty much and down on this side I got the river the Mongahela River or no this ain't the Mongahela this is the Yakagani my fault this is definitely the Yakagani River Coming out of Ohio Power. See y'all could get any water, I think the mom is here. Nowhere near that. But at least I corrected myself guys before the end of the video. But you see where I'm working with out on this part of the woods. There's more structures up top there. Straight up at the top.
like a teepee structure up there. And then you got the poster signs up there where you can't go. That's how well protected they are in there. This is such a beautiful place. Pennsylvania is, is it's amazing. It's an amazing area. They, they forgot to deal with that train track on the other side of the river, running through the two mountains. All right, guys. I guess that's going to be it for this adventure. I'm going to go ahead and hike it out of here. I got about another, uh, I'd say four miles. Four miles to get back to town, then another two miles to get home. So, I got a little walk ahead of me, guys. I want to thank everybody for just being there. That means a lot to me. And uh, I guess I'll see you for the next one, guys. Stay tuned. Guys, I know I said this was the end of the video, but I was walking out and I was thinking about, uh, I forgot to tell you guys. I started, I uh, opened a store up with t-shirts. If you guys want to check out the t-shirts, go to, I'll leave the link down in below. Teespring. Dot com into the woods with Jeff. Check out the storefront. That's just starting, guys. That's just a starter shirt. It's getting going. Um, I'm definitely going to get some more made up with the Bigfoot emblem on them. Into the woods with Jeff on the back. Guys, on them shirts, check out the front and the back because each side has something on them. They're definitely good shirts. I picked out good quality cotton shirts. I Check that out. That definitely helped the team out a lot. And uh, with that being said, guys, <laughs> stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to keep on walking this track out. We got a long way to go, guys. But like I said, check out teespring.com. Look at the store. I'm going to build it up a little bit better as I go, as I get stronger, guys. There'll be a better store there. Uh, I'm just working with a little bit of, at a time and thank you guys for your support with the donations and everything else because that, that just pulled me out of the water a couple times with everything going on getting spread out and paying my bills and getting my car fixed guys you guys are amazing and I couldn't have did it without you guys I would have gave up a long time ago if you guys wasn't there to carry me through it so, with that being said, guys, thanks. That means a lot. And even if you just don't, and I understand, because I ain't rich either. I understand it. You only can make it paycheck to paycheck. And you can only do what you can and get by. Just watching means a lot. That view means a lot. So, every little bit helps. For a fact, just watch that. That's all. That's all you guys really gotta do is just watch. Cause you never know what we're gonna get into, how it's going to unfold. Nothing's written in the script. Everything's done by play by ear. What we see, what we find. So it's definitely gonna be interesting years coming ahead. We got a lot of plans. That, I'm really behind schedule on all of them. So, I'll get caught up, guys. I'll definitely get caught up, but I just wanted to jump back on real quick and fill you guys in on teespring.com, Into the Woods with Jeff, T-shirts, <laughs> check them out. Other than that, stay tuned. Stay tuned for our next adventure because we got a couple, couple of videos we got to make up to you guys. The cave and the maze. Just for you guys. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to get out of here. It's getting cold out. I'm froze. Stay tuned, guys.